Hey folks, it's Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. Now recently, Ceremonic and Audio Brand sent us some very nice equipment which we are going to take a look at in this video. But for all the five hacks we have for you, you can use any kind of microphone. And to capture good and clear audio, one of the first rules is to bring your microphone as close as possible to your subject. And we are mounting the Ceremonic shotgun mic onto a C-stand as it's perfect for dialogue because of its warm sound. So I'm placing this mic close to Lorenzo. You can either point the microphone from above or from below. Speech always goes into a cone out of your talent's mouth, so either position can capture that audio well. Now having that microphone so close to the subject is great, but when we switch to a long shot, that microphone becomes visible. Now instead of moving it to the back, which will produce too much reverb, we can film our shot from a tripod and leave that mic into the frame. Then after you're done, remove everything and take an empty shot. By placing these two shots on top of each other and cropping the mic out of the clip, it's not visible anymore. And this way you can keep your mic close. Alright, Jenik, I'm going all in. The shotgun mic is connected with an XLR cable to the camera. Now obviously this connector doesn't fit within my DSLR, so that's why we have an audio interface and this is the Ceremonic Pax. Now apart from having an interface that goes from XLR to mini jack, this thing comes with a ton of more features. For starters, you have multiple XLR and mini jack inputs, which you can map to the left and to the right audio track which your DSLR captures. And this way you can manipulate the audio of two different mics separately in post-production. So let's do that, I'm going to connect another shotgun mic to the interface. Now shotgun mics always need to have some power and this is also called phantom power. The Ceremonic mic has an internal battery which means it can run on its own. The other mic which is from DayT does not have that. Now luckily the Ceremonic interface has a phantom power switch. And now we can place one mic over each actor and with that interface also separate the audio tracks. So Lorenzo, do you want to drink something? Well Janik, I could go for a drink yeah. One moment. Now when your mic sits still, you don't need a wind cap. It's also best to leave it off when you don't need one as it could alter the audio quality. But when you are booming and following your subject, it is advisable to add a soft foam to your shotgun mic. Nice. Now most mics have this, if you're outside and there's heavy wind, you can use a dead cat. Now this is usually an accessory, but luckily it's for most mics the same. And Sermonic also have one of those and it works great. There is so much wind right now! There is so much wind right now! No there isn't. Now I also use a dead cat when recording voiceovers. That way the plop sounds from your voice could be eliminated. I like pancakes. Now if you do still hear such plopping noises, well you could take the mic a little bit out of the dead cat, leaving more empty space in the top. I like pancakes. If you don't have such a dead cat, use a thick sock or any other thicker fabric to remove wind or such plopping sounds. I like pancakes. Now not all sounds can be recorded on the spot. And it's also best that you don't. For example, if you would record voice with one mic from your actor and a certain handling with a second mic, that second mic will also record a bad version of the voice. Hey Janik, everything okay there? If you like to get a crisp sound of these poker ships, record them separate. You can really focus on certain visual elements by capturing a crisp sound of them. Hey Janik, is everything okay there? You know, if you cut to a long shot, a close-up sound might not be in place. So keep in mind to take some distance with your microphone in here as well. And that's why it might be a good idea to first edit your video, which could be a rough edit, and then playing that back while you're recording your sounds. And that way you remember the shots that you took, and it will also help with synchronizing certain handlings. So apart from the handling sounds, there are two types of other sounds. The first one is ambient. Between your captured sounds, there will be silence. And it's very weird, you want to avoid that at all time. Even when there is actually silence, there should still be some form of audio, and this is called the ambient sound. Now basically, what you want to do after a shoot is record the silence in a room. Every room has a certain tone. You then lay that ambient soundtrack over your entire scene, which will eliminate those complete silence parts. And finally are sounds that you can't record. These are sounds such as breaking bones, unless you, like, really want to do that. 
But there's a less painful way, by cracking carrots, for example. Or if you are in a hurry, you could scratch your knuckles or snap your fingernails against your teeth. Janik! That brings me to these little things which are wireless microphones. It comes with a transmitter in which you can plug in a small lavalier mic and a receiver which goes into your camera or audio interface. This one from Saramonic is a very interesting one because it has a dual channel, meaning that you can wirelessly connect two transmitters to it. Other brands on the market are pretty expensive if you like one of these, but Saramonic managed to build a very affordable system without compromising quality. Now, lavalier mics are used to clip onto your shirt and capture a clean audio of a person that is hard to boom with a shotgun mic. Definitely if that person is running around or you don't have a sound guy with you. When I started with filmmaking, I made a big mistake and bought a shotgun mic as my very first audio tool. Now, usually filming alone or in very small teams, that shotgun mic was pretty clumsy. So after some time, I purchased a lavalier set, which helped me so much with being faster at my work and not having to need a sound guy. The quality of the audio is, however, not as good as a shotgun mic, but it's definitely something that I would recommend to buy if it's your very first audio equipment. I'm a very big fan of the Saramonic gear myself, definitely that dual channel receiver, but of course you can look at any brand available on the market. So having two transmitters going to one receiver means that you got a compact system as you don't need an audio interface for this. And you can capture close by sound of two people. I'm sorry, Jenny, that I kind of broke your arm. It's okay. So let's continue, I guess. Sure. So like I was saying, that is how you should use a lavalier system. Now I got some pretty good alternative uses and first of all is the live sound designing. Now we've got a poker table right here and I'd like to capture some crisp sounds of the handlings. So what I can do is tuck the transmitter away under the table and hide the small lavalier mic behind some poker ships. The other lav mic will go next to the cards Lorenzo has on the table. A quick setup to capture close by sounds immediately. <laughs> And by the way guys, if you don't have lav mics and you're not planning to buy one, you can use your smartphone's earbuds. It comes with a small mic for phone calls, but with a voice capture app, you can tape your phone under that table and have a small mic tucked away somewhere else. Now since I'm recommending to get a wireless lavalier system first, there might be situations where you do need a boom mic. And if you don't have that, why not tape a lav mic to a stick and follow your subject around? Maybe your talent is moving too much, where the rubbing of the clothing is interfering too much. So hanging that lav mic on a stick is a perfect solution. And you know, if it looks stupid but it works, it ain't stupid. I'm so done with this game! Oh sh- Jordy! Look what Janik did! And that brings us again to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Saramonic for the support. We have links to all the products that we used in the description below. And if you have any other questions, then pop me a comment down below. And as always, stay creative. I'm so tired of this game. Ja, maar ik ging alles opdoen. Ja, maar ik ging alles opdoen, hè? Ah ja, ah, oké. Okay. Ik denk dat dat hij hij. Allee, dat is wel een pankaartje. Dag, mannetjes. I'm here. Hallo, mannetjes. Hallo, follow me Instagram. Ik ben hier.